Stop. For real? Full on. I'm fucking obsessed. I need you to show me. I'm demolding it right now. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Smoking Glue Guns. As always, my name is Whitney. And actually, you'll notice this is a completely different setup than I normally have, because I am currently in, that's a leg. I am currently <laughs> in Jacksonville, Florida for Collective Con 2022. The fancy legs in the background, you'll notice, are assistant Joshua. He's tagged along again. I preemptively apologize for the- I am the king of strange, the absence of weird. I am the eldritch horror of the strange. That's what I deal with. But regardless- <laughs> That is so comfortable. <laughs> but I wanted to take a second and show you guys how the week has led up to here. and show off a little project I've been working on. In case you're not following me over on TikTok, which you totally should, I've kind of gone down a little bit of a, a little macabre rabbit hole, if you were. <laughs> you want my black hands over this Caucasian baby? It looks so much worse out of the mold. Uh, what is wrong with this? I can't even, man. I, just, I can't. You got a hundred babies in a fucking dog. It's only 43. <laughs> It might have escalated a little bit. I just keep trying to figure out how to make it weirder. And that's kind of where we're at with the project I'm working on this week. How much worse can it get? <laughs> Tell her to stop. So you guys are actually gonna get this before TikTok does. But yeah, let's take a peek at how this week has been. So I didn't plan on vlogging this week. That was not on the hybrid, but I had a lot of fun doing the last one. And it's a show week. So I've been doing prep work all week long. Today is Wednesday and I leave for Jacksonville tomorrow. It's actually been a lot less stressful this week because my lovely other Josh uh, has been helping me all week long, which has been super, super helpful. He's coming over today to help clean some dice. I'm taking the fun car. So we're gonna take her to the store. Oh, I forget to take you guys along with me. I got some road snacks, some iced tea, Lysol wipes because I'm out, and more paper towels. Let's go find the other nonsense that I need. And now I get to show you how I made my most chaotic creation. As always, we're starting with Total Boat two-part epoxy. I use a one-to-one -one mixture, and honestly, I swear by it. It's my favorite thing in the world. And then we have to mix, basically, until our arms want to fall off. And then after you're done feeling like your arm's going to fall off, you're going to mix for more because it's not ready yet. I'm now also using some of my favorite alcohol ink brands. It's Brea Reese, and I'm using Kelly Green, and adding just a little bit of liquid glitter. And then we get to look at the chaotic things we're pouring inside this thing. And honestly, I just dug through my inclusion bin. There's Tardises and Duckies and Skulls which it was insisted that I had to ink the eyeballs for some reason. Apparently that made it creepier. There's some leaves that I got from like a fishing aquarium situation. And of course babies, because everything is creepier with babies, apparently. Oh, I'm, no, there's no stopping me. Stop her. I have to I'm use- I'm begging you. I don't want it to be your brand. You have successfully made it your brand. I did not try to make it my brand. It you just happened. It. I mean, I mean, no, but like- The babies are your brand now, bitch. Oh, babies are my brand. Part of your brain. I have to use a popsicle stick to sort of adjust everything into position and then cap off cap with a little bit more of that green resin. Keep that sweet, sweet footage for Josh. Oh, this came out fucking perfect. Which one? Uh, this is a squirtle. It's fucking perfect. I don't think people realize the sheer volume of dice that I make. Right. Cause like it's an aggressive amount of dice. I am finishing up working on some commissions and some liquid cores because y'all led me dry after Richmond and Columbia. Say hi, Josh. Hey. Josh. What are you working on, Josh? I am working on cleaning the dice that I totally botched. <laughs> I mean, you didn't botch them. You just coated the, oh, that's so much paint. Josh is working on cleaning all of these shiny sparkly math rocks, including some gorgeous, well, they'll be gorgeous once he cleans them, rainbow petite mini dice. The petites are the end of my existence. I, I noticed because I had to re-ink like almost I all of them. Hey, what's at the mini? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Good <laughs> morning. I'm running late because of course I am. We just gotta load all of this into the car and then go pick up Josh. Not editor Josh. Shop assistant Josh. God damn it, I'm doing it again. Fully loaded. Look at all that stuff. Look at all that goodies. I'm gonna go get assistant Josh and then get on the road. I found a gay boy and he brought a Charmander again. Smash. Jesus fuck, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> what? You brought less stuff? I know, right? What? Who are you and where did you put Josh? Good morning. Good morning. I was gonna stop and get Starbucks. I just felt like everyone would appreciate the googly eye. They put them on the sandwiches. There's a single googly eye on the cake. <laughs> it's so tall. Hey, hey, you know what's great? Hmm. Being on a highway where the speed limit's like 70 miles an hour and uh, do it too. I love how our initial projected time frame to be there is like 4 o'clock, 4.30. Yeah. And now we're like pushing 6 o'clock. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Thank you for visiting South Carolina. Fuck you, bitch. 
So does that mean we're actually in Georgia now? Uh, sort of, kind of, not really. Sort actual of, kind of, not border, really. Well, the actual borderline is like, I think the river. There's like a whole like line of trees. <laughs> is that the literal line? I hope not. That'd be hilarious. Oh, like... there it is! <laughs> Look at the nice, Georgia! Nice. Nice. After the dice has spent 24 hours in the pressure pot, it's time to demold. So I made a gelatinous cube dice and I'm fucking obsessed. <laughs> I'm demolding it right now. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of just the tip, it's time to cut up the sprue of this dice. And I use a set of pliers to do that. It looks like a jungle of like... <laughs> No, it, why does it look so green? I made it green. Oh. Because it's a gelatinous cube. So there's shells and babies, and I think there's a TARDIS in here. Is there's that an a, Oreo? Yeah. Oreos. There's a crab. There's a dragon. So after I've gotten it all demolded, I have to trim the edges. I personally do this just because it's a little easier once I get into the sanding process if I've already trimmed all the edges down with an exacto blade. Oh my god! And now, a spoken word retelling of The Little Mermaid. I want to do it. I never see, like, see him dancing. I'll get around on one of those, what do you call them? Feet. I'll get in water. I'll get in water. Up all day on the sun. Wandering free? Check the ship be. Oh, my favorite part is like, how does he want to do a cannon that I'm so involved in? It's a pine lap, so. No, it's done! What? Did you lie to me? He did! That's just better for the time. So, we're on the 12th floor, Josh. Oh. <laughs> 12th floor. 12th floor, floor, you okay? I don't like this feeling. <laughs> I'm already Are you in okay? the elevator and I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> It's reflective in gold. Here's the thing, I didn't know it was this bougie. The symbolism of wealth. Did that just speak to me? Yes, it told you when we were on the 12th floor. Okay. Ugh. You got it. Totally. It's just hard to film and also do the thing. Oh, we're going that way. Oh, we're in the back? Can we just... Yeah, tap it. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You good? Do you have a good identity? Very nice. I know. Really nice. I didn't know. So first we have bed where no magic will be happening. No magic. No magic. Then like if we want to sit, can sit and enjoy the view of the Vi Star. Lovely. A closet that's fucking stupidly large. Okay. Work. Got like a porcelain. Look at the lighting. Jesus Doing my makeup Christ. in the morning is gonna be so fucking easy. Still got crummy hotel soap. <laughs> Lastly is the tedious process of sanding this thing. I used to try and sand these on my tiny pottery wheel, but it was honestly a giant flaming pain in the butt. So instead, now I just use my Dremel until I get a bigger pottery wheel. Honestly, I'm just working my way through each of the grits, starting from 400, and I go from 400 all the way up to 10,000. And about halfway through the process, I get to switch and start using actually auto body polish in order to sand that last area clean. My favorite part is when I get to finally switch to the buffing wheel, which you can see right there. And that's when those faces just get really, really bright and shiny. Stay tuned for the final Final reveal at the end of this video. Be ready. No. Be ready. No. Are we ready for the day? Absolutely fucking. Oh come on now. We ready for the day? It's bumpy. That's for sure. You're bumpy. Yeah, I am in all the right ways. walk through, I'm behind you, looking like this frumpy ass mess. So like you're doing this. It's like I'm not that flipping. You are fucking dumb. And this girl sees you, she's got like a water bottle, so she's staring and she does one of these. <laughs> Stop, for real? But to be fair, ass, 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 ass. <laughs> so before we get to the final reveal, I wanna take a quick second and announce the glue stick of the week. week's glue stick of the week. She is a fellow dice maker friend of mine that I met through TikTok. She runs a company called Artemis Dice Co. You can find her on Etsy, TikTok, and Instagram. And she just actually celebrated her one year shop anniversary and rebranded with a brand new logo and all kinds of new stuff and is so incredibly talented. So if you would go and check out her socials, that would be super awesome and I would love it so very much. Ta-da! 
we have our gelatinous cube D20. I freaking love this thing. It's possibly one of the dumbest things I think I've ever made, but I love it so much. It's got so many weird little quirky things because effectively what I did was if you play D&D, gelatinous cubes eat things. So I basically just took all of the weird random bits that I had left over from other products and dropped them in there. There's a little crab because another TikToker sent me some inclusions. So I have a little crab in there. There's a TARDIS for no apparent reason. And I love that so much. And of course it is also still full of babies and skulls. What would my brain be without chaos? Without babies. <laughs> I definitely want to try and make some weird, cool other stuff like it. Fun facts, this die is actually going to be on the shop this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as part of my shop update. If it sells before you get a chance to grab it, you are more than welcome to hit up my commission tab. You can find it at smokingglueguns.com. Right, oh, oh, are we putting it there now? We're putting it there. Other Josh is making other Josh work harder. I'm sorry. I'm being paid. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a crime if you think about it. <laughs> That is valid, I do plan on sending you money this week. Also, if you hadn't had a chance to check it out yet, I have a proper merch store now. The link will be down in the description. We'll be putting new stuff in there literally all the time, so make sure you check back and check it out. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Tuesday, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when I have new uploads. Lastly, if you'd like to support more videos like this one, you're more than welcome to check out my Patreon, which will be linked down below. And a special thanks to all of my current patrons, including my newest patron, Stacy. This is Whitney from the future, I also have to thank Bex for joining my Patreon. Welcome to the, the glue stick gang. <laughs> That's all for, I immediately <laughs> fucked it up. That's all for now, guys. I sound like a fucking Looney Tunes character. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, glue sticks. Mwah.